Hey everybody, welcome back to another wholesale video. This is the second one that I've done already, the last one. Really great responses. I'm really happy and excited to see you guys check it out. We're going to be looking at how we can find legitimate suppliers, legitimate wholesalers, distributors, manufacturers, brand owners that we can contact to attempt to create an account and sell their product on Amazon. Uh, the whole thought behind this is that I want to find one or two or three products that I can start to sell and uh, develop relationships with those brand owners in order to streamline my Amazon FBA business and eliminate the headaches of having to go out there and source products every single day products that you know you're not going to be able to replenish wholesale kind of cures all of that but it's definitely not something that everyone can get into you have to first set yourself up like a legitimate business but this video right here is going to go over the process for finding legitimate distributors that you can try and create wholesale accounts with to grow your amazon fba business let's dive in to just what i have been able to learn within the last week looking for wholesale accounts All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Please subscribe if you're not. Hit that like button and drop me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. But let me just go ahead and dive into this stuff. There's a couple of different ways to go about getting in contact and finding suppliers. And I'm going to show you those ways and the different methods behind it because there's there's different ways, right? You can go through Amazon. You can go through Google. You can cast a wide net and just look for general distributors or you can really niche down and go specific and look for brands again i'm still new to this i'm still still new to trying to build these relationships and to contacting these people so bear with me as i try to explain the things that i've learned over the last few days but google is definitely not your friend when it comes to finding uh, wholesalers and that's because a lot of people generally just put in blankety blank plus wholesale and the results that you get back from that they're usually not very fruitful and we can show you an example if we just put in toy wholesaler and see what comes up not a lot of great stuff coal imports bulk camp you got some local ones that you could possibly contact but I don't really feel like any of this is great license to play I think this one is actually a legitimate distributor and you could create an account with them I've looked at them before Although I've never attempted to create the account, but they have some great brands. Look for their brands and you'll see a lot of great stuff. Barbie, Biggie Boo's Blippy, Cabbage Patch, Charmstone, Crybabies, Disney, Despicable Me, Fingerlings. Lots of great uh, little live pets, My Little Pony, lots of great brands here that they work with. So definitely contacting these guys and trying to set up an account would be in your best interest. But a lot of times this doesn't work this well. This is, I don't know their prices or anything. We'd have to look further, further into it. But if you go to other ones like this one, Wholesale Closeout Toys and Games, I don't think that this is going to be true wholesale. You're not going to be able to get the right kind of price on these kinds of products in order to make it uh, profitable on Amazon. Let's go click on Play-Doh real quick just to look. Uh, log in to see price. So you do have to create an account to see this. Let's see if they even take um, real legitimate business. We only sell to retail companies, supplies with a tax ID. So yeah, if you have a tax ID, you can probably go ahead and complete this all in and then you can see their prices and start to see whether any of these products are profitable. So this is the way that a lot of people will attack it. They'll go to Google, they'll search and they'll kind of cast a wide net and just look for those potential suppliers and distributors that can help them uh, find those products but it's a lot of work it's a lot a lot of work i mean there's a lot of work involved either way but to go through the account not know their prices to fill out the application to finally get accepted into this group and then to see the prices finally because you can't see the prices unless you log in and create an account so to do that you have to go through the process and then once you get to the point where you can actually see the price who knows whether it's going to be profitable on Amazon. So we searched wholesalers. We can do the same for distributors. 
All right, toy distributors here. You can also put in manufacturers, and then you can go through here again and click on these and see if you can't find any that would possibly let you open an account and that would let you uh, find any kind of profits on Amazon. But again, it's it's kind of the broad approach. It's the wide net to go ahead, and this these people actually don't have any good. They have they don't have any good brands here, so this is probably not one that I would pursue at all. We got a little bit of Hasbro, but probably not one that I would pursue. It's casting a wide net, like I said. You're just hoping for the best, really, at this point. And that's not the direction that I'm going to go. What I want to focus on, like I said in the last video, is the toys and the games and the things, those products that are already known to be amazing sellers. Because I want to make sure that I have that sales and that, that sales velocity and that history to actually sell this product. I don't want to be holding on to products for two months, three months, six months, a year before I sell them. The name of the game is to find wholesale products that I can flip quickly for profit. That is what I'm looking for. So we can go and just look through the toys and games. And this is the more uh, niche down approach, right? We're not casting a wide net. We're not looking for just a general distributor, someone that can give us a bunch of um, products, like a big catalog to look at and go through those catalogs and find those profitable things. No, we don't want to go through and approach it that way. I want to go really, you know, specific with what I look for. So here are some of the best sellers. We know these things sell, right? We know these things. There's number one, number two, number three, number four. The ranks are crazy. Number one here, number two. It's crazy, crazy how fast these things sell. So what I want to do is I want to go through here and find those brands that I'm interested in contacting the brand owner directly, if possible, to set up an account through them, not through a wholesaler, not through a distributor. I want to skip the middleman and go and try to set up an account with the brand owner directly. OK, that's what the goal is. And again, there's different ways to go through here. You can go and contact these big brands. LOL Surprise, big brand. Uh, I'm gated in it. I can't sell it. Uh, brands like Mattel, I can't sell. Brands like Hasbro, I can't sell. Some of them anyway, some I can. But the majority of them, I can't. If I wanted to just go after a particular product and attempt to get it sold, I can do that. Or I can stay away from these bigger brands because the bigger the brand, the harder it might get I might be to get into that wholesale account as a Amazon FBA seller in the first place. Not everyone wants to do business with e-commerce sellers. They want you to have a storefront of your own. On top of all that, guys, some of us do not have the cash sitting aside to be able to place big orders with these bigger brand owners. They might want more of an upfront investment in order to create an account. All right. So those are the kind of hurdles with those big brands but if you can find something that's a little bit more off brand or a little bit smaller of a brand you can potentially make a connection with them let's go through here and i don't know just see what i can find crayola you know board games card games might be a good one to get into but you can just search through the bestseller list or even just through the basic catalog and try to find those products that you really want to sell the first thing that i'm really looking for is the prime offer that it's showing because I don't want something that sells for eleven dollars and fifty three cents or fifteen ninety nine. Now thirty four ninety nine, definitely something that's better in the price range. There could potentially be some really great profit in this item. You want those higher selling prices to offset any fees and costs that you're going to have because you are going to have to pay those FBA fees on top of your buy costs. Okay, so anything above twenty five thirty bucks is really awesome to see. But again, this is Little Tykes. It might not be that easy to create an account with a Little Tykes brand owner. So let's keep, uh, I don't know, digging a little bit more. Let's just pick something that's uh, pretty random. This looks pretty random. Secret Hitler, okay. Let me, <laughs> I don't know guys. Let's check it out and see what it's all about. Secret Hitler by Secret Hitler. I don't know anything about this. I can only sell it in collectible edition. But let's just look at this. $35, that's a great uh, starting FBA offer. And if we go down here and see who's selling it, this is sold by Gold Wolf and Cabbage. So it's not the Secret Hitler board game maker, I believe. Let's see if there's any more FBA offers. 
it can give us a little more insight. Oh, well, yeah, here you go. So Secret Hitler is actually selling it themselves for $35. So this would not be a, um, a product that I would go after because the person that makes the board game is already selling it on Amazon and they have some great reviews and great customer reviews and things like that. So this is not a product that we will continue to pursue. So let's get out of there and see if we can't find something a little better. Let's try this roll up. Well, it's $13.99. I don't want to try that. All right, let's just go with this Melissa and Doug. Melissa Doug is a bigger brand. It's a brand that I'm gated in. I'd love to get ungated because there's lots of profitable Melissa and Doug things out there. And to be able to get a wholesale connection for this, that would be quite awesome. But let's find out whether or not Melissa and Doug are directly selling this themselves. Uh, so let's go through here. I think I want to look at standard packaging anyways. Look at the offers. Amazon is selling this item. So again, this is not something that I would generally jump on because Amazon is already selling it. You can dig into these listings a little bit deeper and start looking at the history, the sales history, whether or not Amazon is in stock. You can see the orange line, all this orange shaded area is when Amazon is in stock. So for the past three months, the majority of that time, they have been in stock. They have gone on a stock here and there. But for me, this is not a product that I want to get into because Amazon is so heavy into it, guys. You will never get that buy box. You will only hope Hoping for those instances when Amazon runs out of stock and you could finally get your sale. So again, not something we're interested in. Let me go do a little bit of digging. I'll see if I can't find something that's a little bit more what we're looking for. All right, guys, so I found something. Uh, it's not the perfect example, but it is a start to show you kind of what I'm trying to look for. We've got this person or whoever's selling this, $29.94. The brand is BuyWow and currently has eight FBA sellers. I want to make sure that the listing has other FBA sellers on it um, because that way it's not just the brand owner or it's not a private label product. Now this one owner or this uh, seller right here, Wow Skincare, is kind of familiar with the, the title and the brand. So it might be the brand owner or it might not be. Let's just pretend that it's not. What we're going to do from here is go ahead and search this brand and see if we can't find any contact information to go ahead and reach out to these fine folks over at buy wow official website and we're going to attempt to contact these people if they have a uh, a wholesale or a work with us or a open an account create account whatever that is that's what we want to look for other than that we'll look for customer service which we can do here here's our contact information for you to go ahead and contact them uh, there's nothing here about doing wholesale, but we can scroll down to the bottom and look for that as well. But they do not have that. They do have the contact us, which is what we'll do. Put our name, our email, our phone. Let them know what we're trying to do and see if they get uh, back to us. And in the meantime, we'll continue to search for other products and reach out and try to connect with other brand owners and distributors to attempt to build this uh, it's proving quite difficult to find or stay away from ones that aren't like big brand names so maybe maybe we should just go after those bigger brands and see what we can do i mean oral b 39.94 ranked 79 in personal and top care if you can figure out a way to connect with oral b well that would be great wouldn't it so we'll just put oral b distributor and see if there's any way we can find oral b fesco distributors or b products wholesale top 10 wholesale definitely stay away from then you don't want to do this here's a contact page you can go ahead and try and reach out to them this one's kind of interesting to me so i click on that and see what it's all about um looks like they're more than just oral b but they could be a legitimate distributor that you could possibly contact no products found. Okay, this is probably not a legitimate distributor. I don't know if it is or not, but you can still contact them and see if you can make anything work with them. You can see that going through and finding products can prove to be difficult. 
uh, no matter how you attempt to go about it. I'm sure there's a better way. I'm sure there's an easier way. Um, like I said, this is just what I've been going over for the past week. Things that I'm trying. I've already reached out to a couple of distributors and brand owners to attempt to contact them, to attempt to start a conversation with them in order to become approved to sell their stuff on Amazon. Um, I want to let you guys know that I just got special access to a wholesale training, which I'm currently going through. I'm learning a lot and I'm starting to try to implement that stuff into what I'm doing here. This is just the beginning. I'll continue to show you guys more things along the way and hopefully this ends up to be something that adds real value and consistent sales and consistent profits into my Amazon FBA business. But yeah, guys, you just watched me struggle for about 16 minutes and really it's probably more like 25 because I spent time looking for something to show you and I didn't really show you anything wonderful. It's definitely a struggle to do this, but hopefully uh, I do find a better way. And if you have any ideas or comments, go ahead and drop them down below. I'm going to continue to learn all I can about getting into wholesale and passing on information as I get it. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is the web website. I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you on that next video.